For this week's book, I found a book about some very famous flowers, and flowers start with F. So I thought I'd read this to you. It's called Katie and the Sunflowers by James Mayhew. Grandma was helping Katie plant seeds in the garden when it started to rain. Never mind, Grandma said. The rain will make everything grow. But what will we do instead, said Katie. Let's go to the museum, said Grandma. You always have fun there. When they arrived, Grandma sat down to rest, so Katie went by herself to look around. The museum was full of sunny paintings. Katie liked a painting called Sunflowers by Vincent van Gogh. The flowers looked dry and crunchy and full of seeds. I'd love to grow seeds like these in my garden, said Katie. So she reached in and she discovered she could touch them. <gasps> Can we really touch a painting if we go to a museum? If you said no, you were right. In a real museum, you can't touch the paintings. But Katie bumped the vase. It wobbled and fell right out of the picture. <gasps> oh no, I better clean this up before someone sees. Just then she heard some giggling and she looked around, but no one was in the room. It was coming from these Breton girls dancing by Paul Gauguin. What is so funny? She said. She saw that she was standing right beside a farm and the three girls giggled and pointed at the mess Katie made. You'll be in big trouble if anyone finds out, they said. Well, I didn't mean to knock the vase over, said Katie. Will you help me clean it up? Too tired, said Maisie. I've been dancing all day, said Musette. And Katie turned to mean me. What about you? Only if I can bring Zazu, she said, picking up her doggy. Oh, I suppose it's all right. He can come. So they went through the frame and back to the museum. This is funny. She's going into the paintings. Mimi and Katie gathered up the sunflowers and Zazu walked to play. He snatched the flowers and ran away. <gasps> How can we put the picture back together? Oh, I'm sorry, mon ami, said Mimi. Let's try to catch him. They chased Zazu, but he was too quick. Suddenly, he took a leap into the cafe terrace at night by Vincent van Gogh. Uh-oh, they jumped in after him. Zazu refused to let go of the flowers. He went between the tables and the chairs and bumped into them, sending everything flying. Then he ran between the waiter's legs Ah, cried the waiter, dropping a plate. He was angry. He chased Katie and Mimi and Zazu right through the frame and back into the museum. What are we going to do? said Mimi. I have an idea, said Katie. She saw a painting called Still Life with Apples and Oranges by Paul Cezanne. Come on, I need your help. Katie reached into the painting and grabbed one end of the tablecloth and she told Mimi to take the other end. Now pull, yelled Katie. The bowls of fruit tipped over and apples and oranges came tumbling into the museum just as the waiter caught up with them. <gasps> he slipped on the fruit and spun around till he was dizzy. Ah, Zutalors, he yelled. I wonder where Zazu went, said Mimi. He must be here somewhere, said Katie, as they dashed away. Ah, oh, I'll never find him and he'll be lost in this museum forever. Wait, said Katie, I hear a dog barking. So they followed the noise and there at the end of the hall was Zazu. He dropped the flowers and was barking at the bright red dog in Tahitian Pastorals by Paul Gauguin. The red dog barked back <laughs> and Zazu jumped inside the picture. Ugh, your dog is nothing but trouble, Katie grumbled. 
Zazu and the red dog barked at each other and wagged their tails. Welcome to our island, said the beautiful women. It was very peaceful. Mm, it's very hot here. Let's go wading. And while Zazu and the red dog played on the beach, Katie and Mimi splashed in the sea. Zazu was digging when all of a sudden he disappeared. <gasps> ah, where has he gone, said Mimi. And Katie peered in the hole. It was very large. And at the bottom was Zazu sitting on top of a big chest. <gasps> Mimi and Katie moved him aside and raised the lid. It was full of gold coins. <gasps> Pirate treasure, said Katie, showing the women. What will you do with it? We have no use for money here. We have everything we could need, they said. You can have it if you like. And so Katie took some coins and thanked the women. Then she, Mimi, and Zazu went through the frame and back into the museum. Katie quickly picked up the sunflowers before Zazu could grab them again. We better put these back, she said. Which way is it? Hmm, I'm not sure, mon ami, said Mimi. I think we're lost. And then they saw Zazu sniffing at something on the ground. <gasps> Sunflower seeds, said Katie. Zazu left a trail. What a clever dog. I'm glad he came after all. Well, Mimi gathered Zazu and they followed the seeds back to the still life. They carefully replaced the fruit and then they went over to the cafe by Van Gogh. There was the waiter with a piece of paper in his hand. It's a bill for the pastries we ruined. Well, Katie dug in her pocket and took out the gold coins. Is this enough? She asked. Merci, he said, looking very pleased. You may eat here whenever you want. And he climbed back into the picture. They followed the seeds back to the sunflowers. Katie collected a few seeds put them in a tissue and carefully put them in her pocket. Then she put the flowers back in their vase and put them in the picture. Almost as good as new, said Katie. Thanks for coming. I'm glad I did, mon ami, said Mimi. It was fun. And she hopped back into her picture with Sazu. Grandma was just waking up when Katie returned. Mm, shall we see if it stopped raining, Grandma said. It hadn't, but Katie didn't mind. Rain is good for the garden, she said. It will make everything grow. What do you think she's gonna plant in the garden? Do you think she might plant the seeds that she collected in her pocket? That's a pretty cool story about lots of famous paintings. Hope you enjoyed it.